All right, we are live, David. Hello, everyone. This is David from Toledo Antique, and we are here with a very exciting live sale for you guys tonight. Um, we're going live actually with Vintage Bulldogs, so that should be super fun. And uh, just to get started, just so you guys know, I do have some um, static type sales on my feed um, where we're offering items like this. This Bluebird of Happiness is for sale. I think it's currently at $37. So with those static sales, whoever the highest bidder is on uh, Saturday, July 10th at noon, they will be the winner. So if you see any items you like, like this, um, this is a very nice little uh, amber teacup with a blue handle. This is about, um, let me get a ruler so I can describe one second. Um, let me just measure this out for you guys. Sorry, I got to get my little tape measure ready. But anyways, let, let us know if you're here. Say hello if you're here. But as you can see, this is about, oh, two to three inches, two and a half to three inches in width. And um, it's about... I think about one and a one and a half inches in height, um, but a very cute little teacup to drink your tea in. And I love the colors of the glass on this. It's amber toned and blue toned. And then I did want to show you um, a couple other items in my feed. And so on there we have uh, this vase. This is a uranium glass vase and um, has these nice stripes, and it does glow in a black light um, as pictured on my Instagram feed. And then I also have this beautiful uh, Bohemian or Czechoslovakian cut glass cranberry glass vase. This also has those stripes. And this has these beautiful flowers uh, painted on the surface. So I think this one is currently at about $20 on my live feed. I was trying something new. I was starting um, my sales at $1 and just seeing where they landed. Um, obviously, I paid more than $1 for some of these items, so we'll see how it goes. But let me see. Um, oh, there's one more item over there. Um, this one also has some offers on my live feed. It's like a very cute little um, eggshell planter, I guess. It has this cute little chicken hugging the planter on this side. Um, with some pink and teal and stuff like that. And then uh, an item I just added today, I think this one is at $20 starting offer. So this is a very nice pitcher. Um, it's quite large, actually. Um, I just wasn't sure if people were quite getting the dimensions um, on my listing. So... We have this pink cranberry hobnail pitcher. And you can see that's what the bottom's like. And then it just has this beautiful white at the tips of the hobnail. And then you can see the clear handle. So um, those are the items that are available in my Instagram live, um, in my Instagram feed. So if you want to bid on those items, those will be on my Instagram feed until uh, Saturday, July 10th at noon. And whoever the highest bidder is at that time will be the winner. Are you there, Allie? Yes, I am here. Can you see the comments? Oh, I don't see. I didn't look at comments. No. Oh, geez. My comments weren't showing up. Okay. So hi, everyone. Just if you didn't get from the beginning, David was showing a couple items that are a static sale on Instagram feed. So you should go to Instagram feed, look for the pictures of the items. And if you're interested, you should make a comment on that picture. And you can look all the comments and see who is the highest bid. And then you can bid more if you are interested. Oh, hello, um, Martha Franco. Hello, Jen Wonders. Thank you guys for coming. And hello, Bobby. Thank you for coming. I know there's a lot of lives tonight, so we definitely appreciate you guys coming to join us. And uh, Marcy with Vintage Bulldog is going to join us as soon as she gets off work. So that should be real fun. That's why I just wanted to review some of the items that are available in my live feed. And 
like this one, I bet it's MSRP is something like um, anywhere from like 130 would be a very low price for this. And it could be up to 250 from the uh, research that I was doing. But Fenton Cranberry Glass Pitcher, this is a real stunner on my Instagram feed. So, so it, make an offer. When the aesthetic sale ends, David, July? All them, yes, all of them end July 10th at noon. Whoever the highest bidder at that time, I'm going to close the sale out, and um, that will be the winner. So, and I saw, I know a couple of you guys um, liked our posts or saw our my posts on there. It's just something new that I wanted to try. I just, there's something in my head that's telling me, you know what? Just start these things at a dollar and see where it ends up. So we're going to find out. <laughs> so I have a couple items today that I will start as a dollar. And I see her here. Hello. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. This is Allie. You guys know Allie, right? I don't know. I don't know if I know Allie. Hi, Allie. I'm Marcy. I'm in the middle right now, so <laughs> I'm David. This is Allie over here, and this is Marcy over here. So, hi, <laughs> hi, Marcy. So I am here just because David and I we are not in the same city. So, oh, I am the IT person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> I only really handle the sales aspect of the business. So. That's okay. That's okay. I have a, a very uh, technologically savvy husband, so I get it. <laughs> pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, yeah. um, just so everybody knows, um, me and Allie, we take PayPal, Venmo, or Square for payment. And um, when are we going to invoice, Allie? For this sale tomorrow morning, we have um, actually three people coming to the store tomorrow morning. And we are going to invoice, pack, let everything ready to ship. So that is up to you guys. Yay. All right. How about you, Marcy? Um, I will probably invoice on Saturday um, because I'm doing another live sale on Friday. So that way I can combine shipping if, if that's needed. So. Hey, Marcy, look what I got. Ah, I love it. This is like a bluebird on a crystal ball. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Yeah, I was pretty happy when I found that. I bought it from another antique dealer, so. Yeah. You know. Yes, I know. But sometimes, you know, we, none of us can know everything. So it's fantastic to find deals like that. So. Oh, please. Uh, Carol wants me to be a little brighter. I see you. I know where you are. Can you turn on some lights there, Dave? Let me see if I can get a little more lighting. Oh, that's, I can open the window too. That's sweet. It's a switch with a grating. <laughs> it's always a struggle. And as it gets, the sun goes down, it gets darker. Right. Yeah. And today here, it's really raining a lot. It's like a super dark outside already. Wow. Mm. Oh, right. my goodness. This is my um, recent Goodwill find. I did see that on your Instagram. I this did see is, that. I mean, I just don't know how we would like ship this and get it. Where? Look how big this thing is. I mean, yeah. this this part alone is like the size of my head. Yeah, I recently passed up on a swung base for that exact reason because the base was so large and it was so tall, and it was a fantastic price, and it hurt my heart to leave it behind. But I just was no, there was no way I was going to ship it. I'm going to make a video how to pack that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Somebody told me if you put um, pool, a lot of pool noodles. Yeah. I don't know if I would go with something that rigid inside of it. I might go with something like, you know, bubble wrap and newspaper or something. If we do ship this and it makes it somewhere, that's going to be an accomplishment. It is going to be a major accomplishment. For sure. One, if the man can go to the moon, why we cannot ship that thing? <laughs> I like it. Well, do you guys want to get started selling some stuff? Sure. sure. You guys should start it. How about Marcy? 
Okay. Well, I guess we can start with the glass or the kitsch. I don't care. So, um, let's start with the glass. So, um, I have this fantastic uh, bubble jar, which um, Theo Hugh really wanted to keep, but I made, made him sell it. And um, it is very cool. The stopper is plastic on the underside. It is marked made in Belgium and it's very cool. And it's probably about 10 or 12 inches tall, but we're gonna start this at $8 if anybody is interested. So $8, if anybody is interested, I'll give you a measurement. Yep, it's about nine inches tall. So. Can you see the comments, Marcy? No, uh, yes, I can see the comments. Yep. Okay. Yep, I got them on my iPad, so I got it. So it's, we're going to start at $8 if anybody is interested. It's blue. It's beautiful. Theo Hugh wanted it, but he cannot have everything. So we have to teach him that. <laughs> so it's um, great for your collections. It's great for kitchen storage. It does have a pretty good seal. So... It does do well, but it's beautiful. And it is marked made in Belgium on the bottom. There we go, StreamYard camera. <laughs> but if anybody is interested, otherwise we will um, move on. But it's very cute, so. I, anyway, if nobody's interested, we'll move on. Yes like a, an apothecary job yes yeah absolutely i love that idea storing dishwasher um the little dishwasher things in it that's a great idea so by your sink i love that or in your bathroom you put bathroom stuff in it too but we will um we'll keep it moving yes um that's good for a vintage kitchen i'll tell it you is. that it is it is well I guess I'll start with this. Now, in my promo, I promoed that I was going to start my items, um, the ones I had in the promo, at $1. So um, this glass slag elephant is starting out at the offer up price of $1. Um, so okay. you can see it's got beautiful tones of orange and yellow. And look, his ear right there is kind of up in midair. Sorry, stream yard's a little tough, but trunks yes. up. Good luck, elephant, starting at $1. Let's show you the bottom here. It's kind of hollow on the inside. You yeah. can see that. Some of those animals, the glass animals that were hollow on the bottom actually came with candy inside of them. I learned that oh. this weekend. So there you go. I'm glad the little kiddos didn't uh, break this one <laughs> when they took the candy out. <laughs> hey, Allie, when somebody bids, um, can you make sure you bring up the comment, please? And Bobby Jansky is in at five. So the next offer on this beautiful elephant would be six dollars or more. I just like how it's so I like how it's translucent there. That orange is uh very yeah. nice. It's beautiful. Next That's offer. a fantastic price. Yeah. I'm <laughs> trying to, you know, I'm trying to create some activity here. So I like it. I like it. So is there a marking on that thing, David? Oh, uh, I don't see a marking, but you know. No, there is a marking. There is a B on the side of the elephant. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. There is a B with a triangle. So is that like Boyd's glass? Boyd's, Boyd's glass. Boyd's art okay. glass. So we got $5 from Bobby Jansky. The next offer would be $6 or more. And let me uh, get a little measurement of this item for you guys. Looks like three and a half inches by about three and a half inches. So. It's three and a half inches tall, just so you guys know. And hey, Camelia, uh, next <laughs> offer on this elephant is $6 or more. And I think I'm going to start a countdown. So I'm going to count it down for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Next bid is $6 or more. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to one, and if I can get six dollars or more, or a bid end on this 
um, Slag Glass Elephant, Boyd's Glass. It's really cool. And let's see if it's going to Bobby. It's a great color for sure. Bobby, Bobby is a great customer, so you can't feel <laughs> bad about her getting yes. a deal. Yeah. And sometimes you have stuff that you just want to get rid of. You know, oh, it does geez. happen. Is there a bid end out there? Anybody got a bid end? Yep. Yvonne just put in the bid end. Oh, yep. perfect. All right, Yvonne. Um, I mean, Bobby, if you could just, I don't know if you want a screenshot or not, but are you writing this down, Allie, or am I? Or Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a cute puppy dog. Hey, Allie, are you um, muted? Yes, I was. Sorry. <laughs> dog is awesome, huh? She's, they're just like a very talkative. Yes, we have um, miniature dachshunds. That's why I buy a lot of dachshund items. Oh, <laughs> very cool. Well, she's very sweet. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so I think it's back to you, uh, Marcy. And the next one, I will do it. Hey, Ellie, don't, <laughs> don't forget to take the uh, bid down when. Okay. Okay, I will. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. <laughs> yep. Yvonne wants the doggy. I, I agree. Very, very sweet. Um, okay, so this is a fantastic little um, glass fish or whale, or I think it's a fish, maybe a dolphin, um, that I managed to keep away from my son who collects these. So he is slightly has a slightly blue hue to it it's very interesting piece of art glass or piece of glass uh animal um very very sweet so this is going to start at ten dollars if anybody is interested it's very it's beautiful there's no um sharp spots at all and it is about four by three and a half so it's a sweet little blue fish, dolphin, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want it to be. It's a fish or a dolphin. So it's very sweet. Um, it is about uh, four inches long and about three and a half inches tall. It has this beautiful movement with the tail that goes up. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's this like slightly blue hue and it's gonna start at $10 if anybody is interested. So it's really, really beautiful. So I love the eyes and the cool fins and it's very nice. So, and even has fin details on the sides here, which is really interesting. It's probably one of the most detailed fish that I've ever found. So very interesting. So, but it's this light blue color and it is starting at $10 if anybody is interested, but if nobody is interested, we'll move on. We will move on. That, that so. blue color is very nice. Yes, absolutely. You'll we'll never know how many shades of blue there are until you start collecting glass animals. <laughs> I like that one. Yes, it's really interesting. So it's like the um, it's like the bluebird of happiness for fish. Yes. <laughs> well, the bluebirds are darker though. The bluebirds are a darker color. So like these are bluebird. Like they're yeah, they're a darker color. But yeah. Yep. You got one hand. Right? Well, always. <laughs> Always. So. Allie's up, huh? Wow, I am up. Ooh. So I brought something today that I found it. Uh, I really want to start this as a dollar. It's um, a set of uh, coasters. They are like a vintage coasters. And they come in this green, like a pastel colors, right? Green, um, yellow, and pink. Uh, so what I have here, I have a two pink, three yellow, and two green coaster. And then the bottom says, uh, not an ash tray. <laughs> 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 it's what it says in the bottom, not an ash tray. 
I think clearly you guys can see our coaster and they have they all have the same flower uh but they come in green pastel green uh pastel yellow and pink and they are plastic and i just want to start them at a dollar <laughs> it's very so, expensive alley huh very expensive price there i think so <laughs> and they are as i said two green three yellow and two pink so that it's seven coasters in this set and they are in good condition they don't appear to have any damage i don't think no nobody tried to use them as a ashtray ever <laughs> <laughs> i think they date themselves by the not uh do not use as an ashtray on the back as definitely vintage <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> I think that's proof that the item is being yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. But uh, they are very, very nice. Uh, I, I really like it. They catch my eye. And we are starting them at a dollar. If anybody has interest, mm -hmm. just put a dollar in the comment. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, proud American. Stop boarding my coasters. <laughs> that's funny. Those or, are very beautiful. I like the flower on there. I like too. I think I, I think it's super cool, you know, and mm -hmm. and just for the color. Yes. Like if we do have a vintage kitchen or does anyone you, does anyone know what kind of flower <clears throat> that is? What kind of flower that would be? That is not my area of expertise, but I love useful vintage. Like I love things that you can use. I've also seen people use the little plate hangers and hang really cool vintage coasters on the wall as wall art too. So that's oh. an interesting idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yvonne is in at a dollar. See, look, everybody knew what kind of flower that was. They did. Dogwood. They are saying this is dogwood. Next offer is $2 or more. And how, yes. many, how many coasters are there for $2? Uh, seven. Seven, that's that's a deal. Mm -hmm. And those weren't even used as an ashtray. <laughs> no, 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 they weren't. So looking for two dollars or more. And I have one on the lead. And my dogs are trying to get out of the house right now, but I cannot <laughs> attend them. <laughs> I have a Bob at two. Thank you, Bob. Bobby. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have Yvonne at three. Thank you, Yvonne. And remember, I have yellow, I have a green, and I have pink. Mm. I like that pink. It's a nice, it's a nice vintage pink color. I love it. Yes, yes. And, <laughs> and here's the set. And I have Bobby at four. Thank you, Bob. And looking for five or more. I love Try it. to get to use with this camera, the inverse camera. <laughs> <laughs> StreamYard definitely takes getting used to because you're like, which way am I going? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So looking for five or more, uh, those colors are, yeah, mm -hmm. I think so, Stephanie. I think they are very cool for summer, like a, um, a barbecue outside. You wanna do a, a party around the pool, they are plastic, so they won't break it. So super good. Ooh, $6 yeah. from Carol Ann. Yeah, thank you, Carol. I see you, Yvonne, but uh, you're a little late. Carol was in the lead for six. I see Bobby at eight. Thank you so much. And I will do a countdown at starting at 15. So now it's the time, guys. Bid like you mean it. Mm -hmm. And 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six. Put your just in case beads. Five, four, three, two, and one. And if I can get a bead and I think those are going to Bobby. Yeah. Hey, Debbie, how are you? And if I can see the bead and. Oh, thank you, Martha, for the bead and. And Bobby, those are going for you. Congrats. Yay. Yay. <laughs> They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back to you, Marcy. Okay, I am going to show you guys. The, I thought these were really interesting when I found them. So they're treasure craft uh, shakers with these little pixies on them. And so this one says salt and the little pixie is next to it. And it is marked 1960 treasure craft right here. And the little pepper guy has a few... Uh, little chips. So there's a little tiny fleck here and there's a little tiny fleck on the poor pixie's nose. But other than that, they are perfect. So they're both marked treasure craft. They're absolutely adorable. And so these are going to start at $8 for the set of 1960 treasure craft shakers. So this is the pepper and they have this really funky font on there. And they're sizable salt and pepper shakers. They both still have their cork, so you could use them as shakers if you wanted to put salt or pepper in them. Um, but they're very cute. Hey, Carrie. So they're very sweet. So they're super cute. They're marked 1960 Treasure Craft. Um, I thought they were interesting. I see a lot of treasure craft and I have never seen these before. So they were really interesting. So that's why I grabbed them. So, but they're $8 if anybody is interested. And then those are quite a big, huh? Yeah, they're, they are big here. I should measure them for you guys, huh? So up to the tip of the Pixie's hat is four and a half inches tall. So they're quite large. They're very sweet. Ah, uh, <laughs> <Aw>, thanks, Amy. <laughs> um, so there is the salt. So I don't know. I just thought they were interesting. They're little pixies with um, the big tree stump and the funky, funky writing. So super straight, straight out of a fairy tale. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you will not. You absolutely will not run out of salt or pepper. Um, they're pretty sizable shakers, so <laughs> they're definitely cool. But they also would work well as a riser on a display if you had like another pixie to put on top because they're flat. So they would be a nice element to any display. So anyway, but if nobody is interested... <laughs> Um, we will move on, but I just, I thought they were cute. So <laughs> I, I'm sorry about your cats, Carrie. <laughs> I don't have any cat figurines tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks like I'm up. Yes. Well, does anyone know what animal this figurine is of? If you do, type it in. Thank I'm, you. I'm That's sorry. easy. What? That's easy. Don't tell them, Allie. <laughs> Am I not supposed to answer either? No, they got to answer in the chat. Um, but I'm starting this one off at $1. Oh, Carrie, I see Amy, Carrie, yep. everybody's got it. I think it's a polar bear too. Yep. But this is pretty nice. Now, this is almost, I think, I'm most likely uh, some kind of opaque glass. And, um, but I'm not totally sure but it feels like glass, um, but I don't know. It's a part of me thinks that, I mean, I doubt it's Onyx, but it's just this very nice glass. Um, <laughs> no, I just don't have any lights around here. If I turn on a light behind me, it's going to 
you know, <laughs> you're not going to be good, right? <laughs> yes, I'm hiding behind the polar bear. <laughs> but this one's starting out at $1, and it's actually a pretty cool figurine. I think it is glass, but it's this nice opaque glass that kind of reminds you of ice um, or something like that. But very smooth on the bottom. Huh. Look at that. Can you guys read what that says on the bottom? No. Can no. you close close to the camera, David? Do you see how there's a word there? Mm -mm. No. Not yet. <laughs> right there. Right there. You see the inscription? No. No. Seriously, you can't see that. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay, well, it's a very fine inscription, and it says... It looks like it says H A D E L A N D. H A D. Oh. Let me see if I can show you. See how when the light reflects there, or K K U L D. I see, it's a, I see that a, it's something, but I cannot read. There is a brand on this, and um, I think it's probably kind of high end because when somebody writes that kind of inscription on the bottom that you can barely read. The only time I've seen that kind of inscription is on like fine crystal, fine items like uh, Waterford, you know, but do you see, nobody can see that except for me, huh? No, I can see that there is something there, but I cannot read. Like, and you have five from Bobby. Cadeland, K-A-D-E-L-A-N-D or something like that. It was so, it's such a fine inscription that you can't even, I couldn't even identify it before I saw it on the computer. So should it be like the paperweight, Caitlin? I don't think it's like Caithness. You're thinking of Caithness. Yeah. But there is a word there. The question is, what is the word? <laughs> I think that this is kind of a high-end polar bear, guys, but looks like Bobby's in the lead at $5. So, um, yeah, you can barely see it. H-A-D-E-L-A-N-D, uh, -E something like that. But um, the next offer would be $6 or more if anybody's interested. Now, this figurine, this is a small figurine, <laughs> um, but it is very cute. So it makes up for it in cuteness. I will, uh, I will leave you in a second because the dogs are trying to get back in. Oh, it's very stormy here, by the way. Oh, that's not good. Yes, it's raining pretty hard. So if the light goes out for all the way, then you know what happened. But <laughs> looks like it's one and three quarter inches in height, and it's about three inches in um, largest dimension. Yes, Hadeland, Norway. There you go, Gritty Grit. Hadeland, Norway, oh. polar bear. That's what it says on the bottom. See, I, I knew you guys would come through. <laughs> so the next offer is $6 or more on this Hadeland polar bear. And I know nothing about Hadeland, and it's something totally new to me. So I think... It just looks like a nice little figurine, but I'm gonna start a countdown. Bobby Jansky's in the lead at five. We'll count down from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, next bid is $6 or more on this. Probably worth 50 bucks, who knows? <laughs> On eBay, right? Right. I'm trying to get away from eBay a little bit. Oh, raising my wildflowers in at six. Ooh. Let's see who's gonna get it. Is it that's Amy, right? Yes, that's Amy. Yep. Get it, girl. Next it, offer girl. is seven or more, and we need a bid end. Seven or more. Ooh. Bid end. Seven or more. It's. Oh, there goes Amy with the Ooh. ten. Ooh. Ooh. Next offers eleven dollars or more. <laughs> There's Stacy with the bid end. Oh, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Looks like this is going to Amy at raising my wildflower. I think you got a good one here. Ah. 
That's amazing. Go, Amy. Awesome. Yes. Something new. Something new. Something that probably nobody on here has ever seen before. You want to know something crazy? What? I was looking at these birds, which I never looked at before. And guess what it says on the bottom? No way. Yes, absolutely way. What does it say? Hadeland? Yes. I'm going to have to find the camera. Oh, my find goodness. Note, Marcy. Find the note. Well, again, we cannot read, but we believe in you. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it, it's very easy to see from, like, for me. But it's something I've never even heard of before. Yeah, I haven't even heard of it. So these are these really chubby glass birds. They're <laughs> they're really funny chubby glass birds, and they're super fun because they have two um, flat spots on the bottom, so you can have them sit upright like this, or you can tilt them down like this. So there's two of them. And their tails are very similar, but not exactly the same. And they're they're exactly the same. I know, what a coincidence. But only one of mine is marked Hadeland. This one is marked, this one is unmarked. But they're exactly the same. I mean, they're exactly the same. So, um, <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? So here, let me see if I can... Um, so we're gonna start the pair. Um, let me think. Let's start the pair at fifteen. So you can sit. They can sit here, nice. or they can sit down like that. Oh, they can be so, kissing each other. Yeah, they can be kissing birds. So, <laughs> um, so they're very sweet, though. They're very, very sweet. So crazy! I can't even believe that. I know. <laughs> like it was destiny. It was, it was crazy destiny, so that. A brand, I, a brand I've never even heard of before. There it is, you can kind of see it now. But anyway, it is a crazy coincidence. So these, the pair will be 15 if anybody is interested, but we will, they're, yeah, they're just really interesting. Their, their beaks are slightly different. Their tails are slightly different. You got um, me from Bobby. Oh, thank you, Bobby. And then their eyes are just, they're just, I don't know, they're just interesting. So they're different from all the other birds. <laughs> so with my son's collection, I've seen a lot of glass birds. So <laughs> they're very interesting. So if anybody else is interested, uh, the next bid would be 16. So, but. Um, I do not know if they're crystal. I don't, I don't think that they are, but, and they are chunky little bird nuggets, Carrie. <laughs> they're a little chunky little, they're, uh, they're cute little chunksters. I, I absolutely could not pass them up. They were super sweet. So, but I'm going to give it a countdown. So Bobby's in at 15. So looking for 16 or more and let's count it down. So 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. So looking for 16 or more. Yes, they're very chunky little bird nuggets. They are very super, super, super fun. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Carrie, is it? Oh, black, oh, black dog vintage, and then Carrie, and then Bobby. Is it 17? It's the snipers. Oh, my goodness. You got to be damned. Yep. Okay, Bobby, these are yours for 17. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. <laughs> congrats, Bobby. There you go. Congrats. You did not got the polar bear, but you got the kissing birds. Yes. <laughs> You the, the chunk birds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I got an item here. It's me, right, David? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. I got an item here that I think it's bohemian. It's this uh, nice yellow vase. And that is this, how do you call this, David, here on the side? 
Uh, I think that's like applied glass. It's Blue. like applied, applied glass work or something. Yeah, and it, it's quite a bit old because you can see that it's supposed to have like a uh, some kind of a painting here. And in one of the sides here, it's kind of a missing. And also the trim, it's blue as well. Ooh. But besides this little painting that it's missing here, that you can see that fade down through the years, uh, the vase, it's in perfect condition. And it reminds me of like Fenton Silver Crest, but it's more of like an aqua crest, you know? Yes, yes. So this one, I will start at $10. Uh, it's about five inches tall. I'm s apologize, I don't have a ruler here, but uh, it's a little bit different. You see this applied glass, it's in three areas. So there is one, two that you guys are seeing here, and there is one more on the back. And here's the bottom. Super different, it I definitely say. It looks like it has some like applied decals or design or something in between the applied glass or between I, the- I think yeah. so because one, this one here, it's a little bit missing, faded mm -hmm. probably from uh, time, right? Where war and time. Is gold, is that gold on there? No. Oh, I'm sorry. My dogs are about to bark a lot. You're okay. As long as mine doesn't join in. Uh, it's the cat. <laughs> the cat just want to show up. Yeah. It just but, looks kind of gold, gold tone to me, that um, detail or whatever, you know? Yeah. It is. Sorry. Zora. Looking at it on my iPad, it looks more gold than, I, than it does on my phone. So that's really interesting. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, exactly. Barking dogs keep it real greedy. <laughs> but, uh, I start at 10 and I don't see anybody interested in this one. So I think we are going to move on. <laughs> and back to you. Okay. Um, I have an interesting piece of glass. Um, and I did not wash it, <laughs> but I will wash it. We're keeping it real. I did not wash it before I, uh, this, the sale, but I will wash it before I send it to you. Um, it's this very interesting piece of blue glass and it has, it's see-through, but it has these, like this iridescent, um, I don't know what like ribbon or whatever on the outside it's very interesting it almost looks like a braided pattern it's just a small little candy dish or vanity dish um and i don't my son stole my black light so i do not know if it glows um but it's just a sweet little dish it's like a blue glass um it's about six inches wide including the little border and it's going to start at eight dollars and again we're keeping it real <laughs> so i will wash it before i send it to you but it did not end up getting washed before the sale so <laughs> um but it has no chips or cracks just a little bit of dust from the storage unit that it came out of <laughs> so it's pretty it is beautiful and i have a sneaking suspicion that this uh, border here glows. Mm. Um, I wouldn't swear to it, but I have a sneaking suspicion. Yep, my email is on the screen, Bobby, but also at Vintage Bulldog is my handle on Instagram, and you can just send me a message on Instagram. That works too. So whatever works easiest for you, but that is my email address as well. So you can send me an email. So it's about six inches wide, about eight dollars is what we're going to start it at but i just thought it was pretty it was interesting it was pretty i'd never seen it before um so i had and maybe you guys can tell me if this is correct but the antique dealer who um storage unit this came out of 
she said that if you look at the bottom where the marks are for the mold, that if it has four marks instead of two, that means it's older. I don't know. <laughs> you so. got eight from Bobby. Okay, thanks, Bobby. So, um, I don't know if that's her trying to sell me something or if that's actually true. But I ship from Minnesota. I ship from the middle of the country. So, if you haven't heard my Minnesota accent, you can uh, <laughs> you could probably tell where I'm from. So, <laughs> um, so eight from Bobby. And I will, I will wash it, Bobby. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but we're keeping it real. So, um, okay. <laughs> Pete, uh, Pete's repeats is in for 10 and Bobby is in for 11. Thank you guys so much for your bids. It's just really interesting um, piece of glass. But my son stole my black light. He took it upstairs to see if he could make his glass animals glow. So, <laughs> um, so his cardinals do glow. His bluebirds of happiness that are red, um, they do glow. So that's very interesting. So now you know. <laughs> um, yes, Minnesota. Yes, you have to say it that way, Amy. <laughs> so, okay, Bobby is in for 11. And I'm going to count this down. So if anybody else is interested, we're looking for 12 or more. It's about six inches wide. We're looking for 12 or more. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. So looking for 13 or more or a bid end. Um, and I agree, Stacy. he is the best. He does get slightly, slightly spoiled, but, you know, it's like a dog. Why have a dog if you can't spoil him, right? Okay, Pete's repeats. This is yours for $12. Thank you so much. Awesome. Um, you can get a hold of me on my email or on Instagram. So thank you so much. David. That's yeah. okay. So I'm going to start this one out at the very high price of one dollar. Ah. Um, <laughs> this is a Fenton Bear, and I'm not sure if it's amethyst or black glass, but let me check the bottom. You could see the original price tag on this puppy was 1950, way back in the day when the dollar was worth something. <laughs> 1989, when I was six years old. When. You got one dollar from Stacy. Oh, good. I was hoping I would get at least a dollar for this one. <laughs> you sound um, like a grandpa back in the day when. <laughs> yeah, pretty soon I'll be a grandpa. <laughs> really, David? I think it's going to be a while before I'm a grandpa. Yes, I, I just yes. have the heart of a grand grandpa. Only if we count the dogs. Yvonne is in its uh, five dollars. Next offer would be six dollars or more. And I do have to remind you that this was 1950 in 1989. Yeah. When the dollar was worth worth its weight in gold. <laughs> that was the height of the dollar being, you know, being very, very. See, so this Fenton Bear should be worth some money right now. Um, and it's hand painted, David. Uh, we take payment in PayPal, Venmo, Square, Cash, any of those. <laughs> <laughs> gold. <laughs> yes, I'll take gold too. Jewelry, old jewel, old gold jewelry. You could pay me in that. <laughs> just kidding. That'll just complicate things. Yeah. We'll stick with the PayPal, Venmo, Square, or Cash. I take PayPal only. So. Oh yes. Well, PayPal is yep. the most common one to take. Yep. We started taking Venmo when we started selling on Instagram because some of the sellers there um <clears throat> well you send your info to uh ohio stamp at gmail.com oh look that's convenient there you go but this um. is a very cute bear i must warn you this bear is going to um, be very cute on your shelf it is very cute objects in the youtube on the youtube screen are cuter than they appear 
<laughs> Next offer is eight dollars or more. Get it, Stacy. I do. I love him too, Stacy. He's very cute. Oh, and look, you can see underneath the film sticker is a signature. You can see there's a signature underneath the sticker, so it's a big surprise. No one knows who painted this bear. And it's a mystery. So this is the mystery bear looking that with that innocent face. I love the painting on it, though. It's it's so pretty. Yes. Does anybody know what kind of flowers these are? <laughs> they look like just buds on the head. That looks like a it. rose. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a rose back here. Next offer would be $10 or more. This one comes with original Fenton stickers and serial number and everything. Ooh. <laughs> and number. it's got its hands on its feet, it looks like. And oh. it's got this curious look on its face, like it's thinking about something. <laughs> That's a about. pretty interesting color, too, because you see those Fenton bears quite a bit, but I don't think I've ever seen one in that color. Yeah, you know, it's that dark color that is very difficult to know if it's purple or black. That's the thing. Yeah. I can't even see through it because the glass is so thick. But I think that's the great thing about glass, though, is depending on where you put it, it changes color. You know, it could actually, like, appear a different color. Theo okay. just bought two birds that when we bought them glass birds that they looked like they were purple and he put them on his shelf and they almost look like a blue gray color now is theo going to be a future antique dealer i think it's probably inevitable at this point <laughs> <laughs> we'll go live with him you know yeah <laughs> when he gets a when little I, bit older right when, now, I really, so when i really am the age of a grandfather <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think it's inevitable. <laughs> Next offer is $12 or more on this beautiful Fenton bear. Yvonne is in at 11, so it's time to bid like you mean it. I'm going to start a countdown from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Next offer is $12 or more. Two, one. We got 15 from Holly. Next offer is 16 or more and 16 or more or a bid end. And you can use just in case with us in the last five seconds if you want to. Oh, it's getting crazy. 16. Next offer is 17. Oh, Stacy Rogoski. Oh. Oh, Holly McQuinn is in at 25. Next offer is 26. Look at that cute face. It's irresistible. Oh. Oh, and we got the bid end with Stacy Rogoski at 26. Is that how everybody else is seeing it? That's how it appears on my screen. Yeah. Right. Stacy is the last bid before the bid oh, end. Oh, everybody was waiting till that last second. <laughs> That's a risky strategy. That's a risky bidding strategy. I know, I know. One day, one day, my channel. Congrats, <laughs> Stacy. Yay. Congrats. That's a cute one. It is very cute. It's very cute. Congratulations, Stacy. Okay, well, let's um, sell some bluebirds. These are Ooh. bluebirds of happiness. Surprising. Surprise, surprise. Um, they are the larger size. They're the bluebirds of happiness that are on the heart. Um, they're on the little heart. And they are Titan Art Glass 1999. Hey, I got to ask something. Yes. Raising my wildflower is getting filtered somehow. On oh. my, it's, it's it's asking me on my cell phone to approve her comments. What? Yeah, what? I don't know what the deal is. Really? Because she said, did you not see mine? And I don't know. I'm having to approve some of her comments, so I don't know what the deal is with that. I have no idea. Sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt. No, you're fine. I don't know how a lot of the YouTube stuff works, so. Sorry about that, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> She's not blocked here. Uh, but I will. I will look. You keep going, please. Okay. So, um, they are Titan, nineteen eighty nine, um, Bluebirds of Happiness. There is a. Uh, there are the two birds on the heart. And there's no chips, cracks, or flaws. Everything is really nice and smooth. They are the larger size. They are marked Titan Art Glass 1999. 
and they're gonna start at eighteen dollars for the bluebirds. Eighteen dollars for the bluebirds. They're that very the sweet. Price. Theo has um <laughs> he has about two he has about uh, two or three of these already. So um these ones are up for bid. So he actually found the cardinals, the bluebirds of, or the ones that are this style with the two red birds on the heart. So he was very excited about that. So I've never seen the red ones. I had never seen the red ones either. And we found him a second canary. Um, they, I didn't even know they made canaries. So they actually have two, um, he actually has two of the yellow birds now, the amber canaries. So. I see a $20 bid from Kathy Scaletti, a Scaletta. So thank you so much. Oh, yes. I think that's, um, sometimes if somebody comments too many times or like too, uh, many times in quick succession, it'll filter, um, it'll filter your comments out. So. I agree with Paula. I think that that is the case sometimes. So, but these are very sweet. They are the larger size. There's only two sizes of these that I know of. And these are the larger of the two sizes. Um, and they are Titan 1999 made in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So, so, okay, let's, um, Let's count it down. Kathy Scaletti is in at 20. So looking for 21 or more. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. So looking for... 21 or more or a bid end. I'm trying to read comments and talk at the same time. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know how to block somebody, so. And you can't have a moderator on in, on YouTube, though. Like, you can have somebody watching the sale who's, like, can that can have the power to delete comments or block um, somebody if they're being disruptive. Because it's happened before on Misty's sale that somebody was like, why would you want to buy this old junk and stuff? And so <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were needless to say, removed from the conversation. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. <laughs> so looking for 21 or more or a bit end, we got kind of just distracted. <laughs> um, but they're very sweet. And Kathy, send me a message either on um, uh, email or on Insta, and we will um, we will connect. And if you like bluebirds of happiness, I am your girl. I got plenty of them. <laughs> so looks like they flew to Minnesota. <laughs> yes, they all I, and I found so many bluebirds that I did not buy on my last picking trip that were good prices. It was just like, I can't have any more bluebirds. <laughs> so, um, okay. I don't see a bid end yet, but I don't see any other comments. So Kathy, I'm calling it yours, my dear. <laughs> thank you so much. So thank you, David. So oh, it's, it's you, David. I can go. If you want to go though, you can go. What do you want to do? I have something here, David. You want to okay. see it? Yes, yes. Oh, geez, what is that? Ah! We didn't even promo that. What? Way to bury the lead. <laughs> what did you say? I said, way to bury the lead. <laughs> many that? Pay attention to our channel because there will be many things, many surprises. Yes. Oh, so Nicole is here. <laughs> Look who's hiding over there. I know. Okay. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to do this. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I made a video actually on Instagram when I found this. 
we were doing the organizing a cake sale and then i look in a cabinet on the living room and i, I thought mm, i don't think nobody opened that door and then i opened the door and this was inside <laughs> Yay for you! <laughs> yeah, was yeah was a very good surprise. So this is a uh, what I believe because that's the first time that I saw one. <laughs> really? Yes. Well, I think this is what I believe be a lucite candle mm -hmm. with uh, gold flakes inside. So it's about I believe like a ten to twelve inches and it appears to be in super good condition is this white thing here it's just a little piece of a paper to that because this lucite candle wasn't a candle holder and i think they put this here it's i can just pull out uh to hold the candle and mm -hmm. that uh, candle is uh, stick what are you starting it at ali where do you think david one dollar okay so one dollar is the Hi. initial price. <laughs> Let's see how long people are going to take to be in this, right? Uh huh. Is it gold or is it like a rose gold? I think it's a rose gold. So the rose gold are super rare. I found my first pair this week or this last weekend. So I've never seen one before. So yeah, Kathy it, has the right idea. Kathy skipped the bid to ten dollars. That is the right way to bid, Kathy. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's a super cool candle. Yeah. Uh, it's it's really in good condition, you know. Like as I said, it was inside of a cabinet, so it was like a very well taken care of. I and, love it. Yeah. And inevitably we get the question when I sell those, like they are not actual candles. Please do not light them. They are for decoration. You know, <laughs> was my first question when I saw those being sold. It's like, can I light those? <laughs> no, you cannot light them. Don't light them. <laughs> Bye. So I see Yvonne at 21. Thank you so much, everybody, for the beads. Mm -hmm. It's really a cool one. There is no scratch on this one. Uh, really, really. There was even no dust, you know. <laughs> it, it, it's serious. <laughs> so, oh, I see Nicole at 25. Thank you, Nicole. I hope to see you soon, Nicole. Nicole always comes to our store, so That's you can awesome. come to this estate store, Nicole. This is a good one. Um, yeah, and I think the let me put close to the camera. You see, I think they are gold flakes, like a rose gold flakes. Maybe let me do this. <laughs> uh, Camelia, yes, we are seeing your bids, they're just coming in a little bit late. Yes, so yes. bid early, bid early, Camelia. Nice, Camelia. I see you at 26 now. It's just because, Camelia, you are on Facebook. So, uh, Camelia is on Facebook, and so the beads, sometimes they can be delayed. Okay. Yvonne, you're more than welcome to come to the store, Yvonne. So, I see Camelia at 26. Thank you all for the beads. Looking for 27, and I thank you all for letting me know that you guys are out. And I'm not sure if there is anybody more. Nicole. Oh. 27. <laughs> yeah, you do have a file in our store, Nicole. Actually, there are a couple boxes already for you. Think about how much fun it's going to be to unpack those. Yes. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Camilia, uh, I'm going, I think I'm going to do a video. Just maybe you are forgetting to log in on YouTube, you know? So I will do a video how to teach how to get there. Because I know sometimes can be a little tricky. Mm -hmm. uh, Yvonne, you can come anytime. Come on. <laughs> Camilia, I see you at 30. Thank you so much. Better start a countdown, Ellie. OK, so I will start a countdown. And you guys did like you mean it at 15, 14, 
13, 12. Remember, in the last five seconds, you can use just in case. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Thank you, Nicole. 3, 2, and 1. And bid and or 31. And I think this loose side candle goes to Camilla. And my dogs are just crazy right now again. <laughs> oh, Camilla, I see you're just in case at 35, but I don't see any other bid against you. So thank you, Yvonne, for the bid. And so this is for you, Camilla, at $30. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. The dogs are happy. They're celebrating. Yes. I love it. The dogs have good taste. Good taste in candles. Um, and Carrie's giving us life advice. Don't burn the candle and don't eat it either. <laughs> good advice, Carrie. Um, okay, so this is a sweet little planter. It is a sweet little planter that has a a cute little bird on it and this it's a sweet little bird with the little gold details in his little feathers and on his face and his beak and it is marked USA 502 if you couldn't see that oh my goodness there we go <laughs> so it's a sweet little planter I just liked the color I liked how just the gold is really in good shape. So it's a sweet little planter. You could put a little succulent in it. You could put your Q-tips in it. You could put your pencils in it, whatever you want. So we're going to start this cutie at $8. If anybody is interested, it's a sweet little planter. And it has some nice texture here um, on the planter piece as well. So it's just very cool. I love the little birdie could put air plants in there too. Yes, you could absolutely put an air plant in it. <laughs> he puts an air plant in everything. So, I love it. So it's USA 502 and I love the purple and the pink. I think that's why it kind of drew my attention is because it's a different color. It's not a pastel planter. It's not a muted color. It's a really vibrant color with this beautiful gold detail. It's like a hybrid between a cardinal and a bluebird, right? It is. It's definitely bluebird-esque. <laughs> you know? It's like a bird, or it's like a bird that's between the, you know, like the bluebird of happiness style bird and the um like the Norcrest bluebird type birds. It has the start of those really cute features like the Norcrest and Lefton and stuff like that. So, oh, that doesn't sound like fun, Camelia. I'm sorry. Technology is great when it works and it's. We're, we're glad she has Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> right? Facebook is for sure one of the worst. So, I moderate the flash sale on Facebook, the ISN Facebook flash sale every Sunday. And I don't know how a static sale can have such a lag. Like it is just absolutely crazy. Facebook oh. is so crazy. So, yep. But if nobody is interested, I have all the birdies. The starting bid is $8, Mary Jo, $8. So $8. <laughs> I know sometimes I'm watching on mute so having um somebody sign it or whatever is helpful so starting at eight dollars if anybody is interested it's very okay oh i see i see bids thank you guys so much mary joe is in at eight and then kathy's at eight and mary joe's in at 10 and bobby's at 11. Thank you so much, guys, for your bids. That's fantastic. It's a very sweet little bird. He definitely wants to find a home. He wants to fly away from Minnesota. It's cold here, you know? He's got to fly. Crazy. Might get some crazing in Minnesota, huh? <laughs> yes. And his air plant, 
friend might die. <laughs> so, especially if he stays at my house. Okay, Kathy is in at 12, and Mary Jo is in at 12 as well. So Kathy currently has the high bit at 12. So looking for 13 or more. And since we have kind of spent a lot of time on this guy already, I'm going to count it down. So there's no chips, cracks, or flaws. It's very, very sweet. So looking for, okay, Mary Jo's in at 13. So looking for 14 or more on the sweet little planter, birdie planter. It's pink and purple and gold, and it's it's got all the things. It's got all the cute things. So I'm um, looking for 14 or more, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. So looking for 14 or more or a bid end. Kathy is in at 14. And I see your bid twice, Kathy. Thank you. Making sure that we see it. We appreciate that. So, or sometimes it's just a glitch. Okay. And there's Stacy with the bid end. So this is yours, Kathy, for 14. Thank you so much. We'll have to start a little box. <laughs> Am I up, Allie? Thank you. Okay. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to do um, bidding for choice, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, the bids start at $1, and whoever is the winner can choose which one they want. And then we can offer the other one. So now this green one is a little bit bigger than the one with the brown, yellow, and orange. But um, the green one is actually marked. So starting at $1, you can I don't know if you guys could see that there, but it does say Fenton. Okay, oh, Bobby Jansky is in at five. See this one says Fenton right there? Can you guys see that? Yep. Yep. So it's almost got a Fenton etching. Um, so it's green, speckled, and white. And it's a bird. And yes, this is a bird. That's so cool. And I don't know if it's a happy bird like those bluebirds of happiness, but <laughs> I'm assuming it is. I'm assuming it is, yes. Um, then, yeah. Are, are they, um, if somebody wins choice, are they allowed to take both? Yeah, they could take both if they want. Okay. So um, next offer would be $6 or more. You could see, I mean, this one, I don't see a Fenton marking on. I'm looking, looking, looking. That marking was very difficult to see anyways. Okay, we got $6 from Marcy. <laughs> Next offer would be $7 or more. The of you would kill me if I didn't bid on them. <laughs> <laughs> I like Theo already. <laughs> He's a good, good friend. He has very expensive taste. It's very, yes. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we got ten dollars from Bobby Jansky. Next bid would be eleven or more, and I don't know if this one's Fenton or not because I couldn't find a signature. But it sure looks a lot like this other bird. Yeah. And they came together. They came so. from a Phantom collection. <laughs> oh, was it a Fenton collection? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. The yeah. store, one of the stores that we go to up at the lakes. Um, in northern Minnesota, they specialize in Fenton. So they have so many Fenton pieces. And she can look at something and know if it's Fenton or not. It's insane. So well, I do I do want to show you guys. You see there's glitter in this one? Mm -hmm. This is a very fancy bird with the glitter. Most birds don't have glitter. <laughs> and this one, I don't see much glitter on this one can't see any glitter there but this green one has glitter and an acid etching on the bottom so it does thinking uh this is theo's style it is definitely theo's style theo's style is bigger than his budget though so. <laughs> He's gonna have to do some um weeding of the garden or something right <laughs> yes well, so, looks like we got 15. Next offer would be 16 or more. And glitter, this is bidding for choice. We glitter got is good, Yvonne. That is true. Glitter is good. 
Glitter has helped a lot of people. Glitter, it has. So, okay. Theo, has, Theo has elapsed his budget, so. All right, all right. Well, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to start a countdown. Looks like next offer would be 19 or more. I'm going to start a countdown from 15, 14, 13, 12. Next offer is 19 or more. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I wonder if we could get 19 or a bid end. And then, what was that? <clears throat> and um, Bobby, if you can let us know if you want um, the green, the brown, or both. Oh, you have a, a sniper from Black Dog oh, and Peaks for Black 20. Dog. Okay, okay. So Black Dog Vintage and Antiques is it oh we got the bid. Oh. Black Dog got it at the last second. Black Dog did get it at the last second. Okay. So oh, Black no. Dog, can you can you let me know, Black Dog, if you wanted the green, brown? You gotta use that just in case, Bobby. The last yeah. five seconds. Oh. You well, know. it's happened to all of us. It's happened to all of us. Hold on, Bobby. I might have something. <laughs> black, black dog, did you want the green or the brown? Just the green one. Oh, did he, did he say the green? Mm -hmm, just the green okay. one, he said. Now, Bobby, did you want this one? That's the brown and orange. Um, looks like this brown and orange one. Um, if you want that one, we, we could just do the 18, I think. Is that... Yep, that's usually how I do it, is you go to the last bid. You yep. just want this one for 18. I'll put that aside for you. And then Black Dog, looks like this one's going to you for 20. That one's a little bit fancier with that glitter. <laughs> so, you got to love the glitter. Okay, I am going to sell the Flower Girl, Jenny. Um, so, I bought a collection of these little Napco Flower Girls. And they all had their umbrellas. So this one is the um, only one who unfortunately has a waist repair. So her waist has been repaired. Um, but she is still in really good shape. She still displays very well. Her umbrella is intact. Her hat is intact. And she's marked Napco. The person who collected these used yellow paint to write the months on the bottom. But if you just kind of scratch it, it comes off. So you can take that off if it bothers you. So she does have a waist repair. And for that reason, she is going to start at $14. And she is Napco. She's marked 1949 Napco. She has her sticker. She is very sweet. Uh <laughs> Right, Stacy. I probably have, oh gosh, I think I probably have eight of these that I bought that are, because Stephanie bought two of them. <laughs> so I think I have eight that are still available. So um, one will be, I've just been doing one per sale. So eight will be, or one will be in my sale on Friday. And so I've just been trying to kind of space them out accordingly. So um so this girl is september she's got this like kind of cerulean colored flower and her umbrella and her face she's got that adorable napco face and she has that waist repair but she still displays beautifully and she's going to start at 14. um and sometimes if you're on a budget a one with a little bit of a repair is a great way to get that really expensive sought after item without breaking the bank. So I still love vintage, even if it's not perfect, because I feel like it's, it's had a life and it's had um, a story to tell and it's been loved. And yes, so, so they're each month, they each month has a flower. Yep. So each month has a flower, apparently, just like a birthstone. So this one is September, and I couldn't tell you what flower that is. I'm terrible with flowers. I kill them. <laughs> so this one is September. Um, 
but yeah. So this one is September. It's very sweet. So it's going to start at $14 if anybody is interested, but if not, okay, Aster, thank you, Black Duck Vintage. So if nobody's interested, that's okay. She has that little flaw, but she's absolutely gorgeous still. So, yep, we all have our little flaws, right? <laughs> so, indeed. So, okay, well, if nobody's interested, we'll go, we'll move on. Nice. Oh, but she's too beautiful. David, you are muted because you muted yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we cannot hear you, David. How did you know? Oh, because I can see here. Remember, I am the <laughs> IT person. I can see that. <laughs> she can oh. see your lips moving and nothing happening. Allie, you're up anyways. What are you trying to do? Huh? You're up. What are you trying to do? Oh, it's me. Yeah. I thought it was you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I got something here, David. I got something very nice. Oh, wow. Ooh. So this is like a butterfly in resin. And I will tell you guys, if you can see, it's a real butterfly. Wow. You see it there? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And somebody put her in a resin um, case, right? And comes with this uh, little stand. So... Yeah, super pretty, I think so. So you can stand like this in the table or in a display. And I will start her. How much? One dollar. One dollar. So we are starting uh -huh. with, and this is what, the, it's a monarch, right? Mm -hmm. This is a monarch butterfly, a real one, it's starting the bead at one dollar. And you can see there her little paws. And mm -hmm. one day somebody case her in this resin. And I see you. Happy moon, happy moon treasures at five. Thank you so much. And it's very pretty. It's kind of a heavy. Uh, I see you raising my wildflowers. It's Amy, right? Mm -hmm. At A. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, and in the uh, back of this casing, it's kind of uh, orangish. So very nice. Super good condition. Barely no scratch. Thank you. Mermaids. No, did I say Mermaid. right? Mermaid, Mermaid X. Mermaid X. That's how. Yeah. Okay. Mermaid X. I see you at twelve, looking for thirteen or more. And this is about like a, I would say three inches in height here, and then the width is probably like five inches, not more than that. Super cool item. Yes. Next offer would be thirteen or more on the beautiful Monarch Butterfly paperweights. You think it's a big point? I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what I would call it. <laughs> so I don't see any more beads coming in. So you've got Mermaid X at twelve dollars. Mm hmm. So I think I'm going to start the countdown. You guys should bid like you mean it. It's not every day that we come across to those. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's rare and rare to see those. And vintage bulldog. <laughs> you see that? What um? Yep. Uh, Jenny, I have you down for fourteen for the Napco Flower Girl. Just confirm that you saw the waist repair. Just write a comment that yes, you still want her. Okay, because she does have a waist repair. So. Hey, Allie, do you know the width of that? piece or uh like this dimension here from here to here i think it's about five inches and from the top to the bottom i think it's about three inches and i would say the height it's about one inch oh look you can see the legs yeah you can see there uh-huh 
Yep. All right, perfect. What's the back? Is the back felt? The back. Oh, sorry. I never saw uh, show the back. It's felt. So that paperweight's not going to damage the desktop or anything? No, we'll never damage anything. We do think it is a real uh, monarch butterfly. Yeah, because you see here the legs mm -hmm. and how they try to set her down. I think to keep the resin. So pretty sure it's a real one. So I see you, Mermaid X, at 20, and I'm going to start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. With your just in case beads, guys, 5, 4, 3, two and one thank you amy for letting me know that you are out and be then so if i can get 21 or more or a bit then i see you jenny at 21 and i don't see the bid end yet i think we have a little bit of a leg yeah See the bead end, and then I see your mermaid bead. So this actually goes to Jenny Mac Timmons mm -hmm. at 21. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you for the bids, everyone. Yeah, and I'm going to put, uh, let me just give one second, Jenny. I'm going to put here our email, but I, our email and also Marcy email is going to be in the description of this video. Mm -hmm. If you guys need to go there back after and look, we'll be there for you guys, okay? So thank you so much. Yay. Wow, that was, that was wonderful. Thank <laughs> you. <It's> just easy. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's see. What shall we do next? Do we want to do some kitsch or some Viking glass? What do we want to do? Hmm. Viking glass. I think Viking, Viking glass sounds okay. um, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so I have this um, Viking glass uh, amber piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it is the smaller of the pedestal bowls, I guess. Uh, Okay, Stacy. I will do the kitsch next because it is definitely a deer and you're definitely going to love it. So it's about five inches tall and about seven inches wide. So it's absolutely gorgeous. The Viking glass pedestal dish. Um, it's going to start at $18 if anybody is interested. It's very, very, very cool. The amber glass um viking pedestal dish it's gorgeous it has the thicker um almost like ridges in it it's absolutely gorgeous so i think viking does glass probably better than most so um especially the colored glass so it's absolutely gorgeous i feel like you could probably hypnotize somebody with this <laughs> um Yes, yeah. you can. Okay, okay. I will show you the deer next, Stacy. Don't worry. So, don't worry. But if nobody is interested in the gorgeous Viking glass piece, you know you need yellow to complete your rainbow of colors. So, it's a fantastic piece. About six inches wide, about five inches tall. It's very, very sweet. So, but, oh, I see you, Black Dog Vintage, for 18. Thank you so much. So looking for 19 or more. Thank you so much for your bid. Um, I just absolutely love I have a bunch of these in um, orange or persimmon, as they call it, uh, in my personal collection. So I love Viking glass. So, And I was collecting it before I even knew what it was. I just knew that I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I've gotten more knowledge, um, 
Oh, see, I misspoke. It's about seven inches wide, sorry, and about five inches tall. So, but anyway, I'm going to count it down. So looking for 19 or more, Black Dog Vintage and Antiques is in at 18. So looking for 19 or more, and I'm going to count it down. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What and, a you Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It has the, the like ridge detail on the base too. It's beautiful. So absolutely gorgeous. So looking for 19 or more, Orbit and Hey Vaughn, we're glad you're back. So 19 or more orbit ends on the gorgeous amber Viking glass piece. So it's beautiful. So I don't see a bit end, but Neither do I. a very nice color. Very nice color. It is a nice color. I can write sold if um, people don't want to put this. Oh, Bobby. Just Thank you, Bobby. Okay. Black Dog Vintage and Antiques, it is yours for 18. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, David. Now it's awesome. your that turn. Was, that was wonderful. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not selling the mouse yet, by the way. I'm going to do this fairy lamp because I know everyone loves fairies. Now, there is a little, looks like uh, a flea bite right there. See how I'm starting this one out at a dollar, just so you guys know. And um, you can see there's a little flea bite down there. And then there's maybe a little flea bite on this edge. Very tiny ones. So you can see how they kind of like shimmer a little bit there on the edge. And then this is the top. It has a little bit, it took some heat at one time, as you can see here on the top. Um, but this is satin glass. And it's like a diamond, um, a diamond pattern satin blue fairy lamp we got five dollars from bobby jansky and the next offer would be six dollars or more and you could see how it's got a scalloped edge on the bottom does anybody know who made this one i believe that's imperial glass diamond point i believe oh nice i like imperial glass yeah we got six dollars from Beth R. Next offer would be seven dollars or more. We got seven from Yvonne, and next offer would be eight dollars or more. Let me um, get a measurement of this fairy lamp here for you guys. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, five inches tall, and it's about three and a half, three point three four inches wide. So. Um, satin blue, pretty nice, pretty nice fairy lamp. Mm -hmm. Very nice pattern on the outside. I don't have that little candle, otherwise, I would put it inside <laughs> there. Sorry, David. I wonder what a black light does. <laughs> Let's see. Not much for satin glass. If, if, you but, yeah. a, if, you, if you put a black light inside here, it does look pretty cool. It does. But um, we got eleven dollars from Yvonne. Next dollar, next is twelve dollars or more on this satin blue fairy lamp. If anybody's interested, we got twelve from Mermaid X. Thank you, everyone, for your offers. And next, we got fourteen from Amy Dobbins. Hey, Amy. The next offer would be fifteen or more. Um, there you go. It's pretty cool. I got this at my friend's antique store. I don't even remember how much I paid for it, frankly. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me so happy to know that, David. <laughs> Look, I got to get the good stuff for my YouTube channel, okay? <laughs> but, um, we got Yvonne at 16, and next offer is 17 or more. It kind of froze a little bit. Oh, I'm frozen? A little bit. Mm, very strange. There was lightning outside, so. Yeah, here too. 
You get Marmaid uh, Oh Yvonne again at 19. Next offer is 20 or more. I'm wondering who Mermaid X is. Do you know Mermaid X? I don't. I know there's a couple of mermaids out there, so. Yes. Ellie's saying, send us your info. Yep. Your email. I know a lot of people on Instagram, so. Yeah. But their names aren't always the same over here. It Yes, it can get confusing. And then people sometimes have multiple Instagram names, and then I'm just like, what? <laughs> yes. So. All right, we got 21 from Yvonne. Next offer is 22 or more. Next. That's a very good price for that fairy lamp. Oh, yeah. If Misty had this, you know it'd be going for 80 bucks. I have sold a few of those. I had a pink um, glass, um, but it wasn't satin glass. It was pink. Um, I don't know what the translucent glass, and it sold for 80 plus dollars. So, Dang. It's a good deal, guys. It's a good deal. Very good deal. Mm -hmm. You could might even be able to resell it and make some money. You never know. Absolutely. Yeah, should not be afraid to bid now before David started the countdown. Mm -hmm. Yes, bid like you mean it, but we should start a countdown very soon on this fairy lamp. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start. Let me ask the mouse. Should we start a countdown? <laughs> I <think> so. <laughs> All right, so. We asked the mouse and he said to start the countdown. So um, I'm counting down from 15, 14. I need to become a ventriloquist, don't I? <laughs> 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Next offer is 27 or more. Uh, 3, 2, don't forget the just in case bids. 1, and if we get 27 or more or a bid end on this satin blue fairy lamp. Ooh. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh. That was the highest one. <laughs> the bid end got me. Uh -huh. All right. Well, we got 28 um, from Debbie Wilmarth. I see the bid end from Stacy Rogaski there. So it looks like this is going to Debbie Wilmarth for $28. Congratulations. Wow. Congrats, yes. Debbie. I'm feeling the leg. You got quite a deal, Debbie. Hey, check this out. This is my drinking glass. <laughs> this is Heisey glass, by the way, in case you ever see it out there. Heisey glass. There you go. Pretty that cool. is very fancy. It's very fancy. Yes. Um, that Yeah, that's a fantastic deal, you guys. Okay, let's sell the sweet little Bambi vase. Um, we know Stacy's waiting for it. So it is um, a deer or Bambi. It's not Disney or anything, but I always call every deer Bambi. And there's a little rabbit friend thumper for Bambi. And it is this purple paint with the green tree it is marked on the bottom with a number and it's very very sweet no chips cracks or flaws or repairs it's in great condition we're going to start it at 12 dollars for the sweet little bambi vase so there's actually a series of these there's bambi with um thumper there's bambi with a skunk there's bambi with um, and it is not a Disney piece, you guys. I just use the word Bambi, but it's a deer with a bunny, a deer with a skunk. There's a, there's a few of these. So I think there might be two deer, but very cute. So, okay. Amy and Chuck's in at 12. Beth is in at 12. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I wish it was the skunk too, Stacy. Okay, Amy, uh, Beth R is in at 13, Yvonne at 13, and Amy and Chuck at 15. So Amy and Chuck is currently in the lead at 15. Thank you guys so much for your bids. Um, so it's very, very sweet. It is a planter or a vase. You can put 
flowers or a plant or whatever, whatever you want, whatever you'd like to put in it. So there's a sweet little flower down here. Um, but it's a very cute little vase. It is about, I believe it, I measured it. It was six, uh, five inches tall and about four inches wide. So it's very cute. Bambi does still have her spots on her back here. So very, very cute piece. So very, very sweet. Great colors, great bright colors. Perfect kitschy display for any time of the year. And it does definitely have that like kitschy Bambi look. So very, very sweet. So Amy and Chuck is in at 15. <laughs> I know what you mean, Stacy. I have to double check sometimes too. And especially with Theo Hughes collection, he'll be like, I, I, I'll say, I think you already have a blue bunny. And he'll be like, no, I don't. And unfortunately, most of the time he's right. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, he's definitely knows what he, what he wants and what he has. So absolutely. So uh, Amy and Chuck is currently the high bid at 15. So we're looking for 16 or more and I will give us a countdown. So, um, looking for 16 or more, Amy or Chuck, Amy and Chuck is in the lead. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 bid end. So looking for yeah. six or more or a bid end. Okay, Amy, I see you're just in case bid of 22. Thank you so much. And Kathy's in at 16. So looking for 17 or more or a bid end. So let's see. Who Actually, we do have the 17 from Amy and Chuck because they bid 22. Right, right. Yep. Yep, so um, Amy and Chuck, you get this for 17. Thank you so much. Thank That's you guys. Awesome. That's so cute. It is. <laughs> you are muted, David, and I did not mute you. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you guys were just talking without me. <laughs> and you were talking, right? <laughs> Who's up, Allie? I guess it's your turn, huh? Uh huh. And guess what I have here, David? A glass mouse. No. I'm going to do a bidding for choice. Ooh. Glitter birds. Mm -hmm. are, they, do, are those signed on the bottom? Mm, I don't think so, David. It looks like there's an etching or something. Yeah, that is an etching, but I cannot identify what is the etching. Maybe a, a letter A. Hmm. You know? Marcy probably knows more about that than us. Yeah. Oh, I so, don't know. This one here uh, seems to be one inch and a half, and the small one, one inch. What are you starting them at, Allie? So we'll be bidding for choice, and I'm going to start them at a dollar. Oh my goodness. <laughs> looks, like a, looks like a mother and child. Yes. 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 Uh, let me let me do one thing here. I put the white paper. I see you, Bobby, at five. Thank you so much. And whoever wants, if you want to take both, it's okay. If not, it's also okay. Uh, does that help? Yes, it absolutely does. I think so. So it's like amber colored? It's amber color, it's speckled uh, glitter glass. It's kind of, it looks like a little bit of a chunky bird, huh? It is a chunky. <laughs> it's a chunky bird. This is, <laughs> this is the chunky bird sale. It is, it is a chunky bird, super <laughs> cool. And it does have, those speckles are, are like bubbles inside, you know? <laughs> got 12, got 12 from Bobby. Thank you, oh. Bobby. Mm -hmm. Oh, David, I can see your phone. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Uh, thank you, Bobby. So it's super cool. I really like those, especially because one, they're chunky. 
<laughs> and <laughs> they are tiny birds, you know? Oh, tiny birds. Yeah, I see you, Bobby, at 15. Thank you. And really, uh, on the screen, it's not as beautiful as in person because the yeah. details here on the big one are so cool. I think so. that's... I think that's most amber glass, at least in my opinion. It looks better in person than it does on. Yes, yes, I agree. I, I completely agree. I see you, Yvonne, at 16. Thank you so much. Rem uh, uh, remember, it's a bidding for choice. Whoever wants can choose one or two. And I see you, Bobby, at 18. Thank you so much. And... Bid like you mean it, guy, because we can all oh, thank you for letting me know that you are out. <laughs> he uh, exhausted his budget, so okay. <laughs> so I'm going to start the countdown, guys. Put your beads like you mean it, uh, because you know it, you just saw happen. <laughs> so 15, yes. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Bid like you mean it. Oh, I see you, Bobby, at twenty-two. Just in case, three, two, and one. If I can get nineteen dollars or more or a bid end, and then. I think it's going to you, Bobby. I want to know if you want to vote for 22, uh, 18 each or you want the big or the small. So just let me know. And I'm waiting for a big end. There it is. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, Bob, just let me know. I don't want to take too, much, too long here, but put in the comments if you want to vote birds or if you want to just one, and if you want to just one, put the big or the small one. Oh, both. Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh Bobby, that's, that's nice. Very <laughs> that's very sweet. Thank you, Bob. Thank <laughs> you so much. That's very <laughs> okay. Back to you, Marcy. Okay. Um, so this is a very interesting, um, honey pot, jelly pot. I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but it's very sweet. It is a uh, double, um, it's two sides, two lids. The lids have these sweet little bees on them and I'm going to put them down so they don't drop them. <laughs> um, they have these sweet little bees on them. This is, um, what's the name of that porcelain? Um, it is marked Occupied Japan, and it has a little, like, T almost underneath or on the logo. Um, it looks, it reminded me of Balik when I saw it because yeah. it has the leaves on it, but it is, it is marked Occupied Japan. Because I sold something from Belik exactly the same. Oh, okay. Well, it is marked Occupy Japan, so it's a very good knockoff. <laughs> no, it's not a knockoff. It's, it's just a style. <laughs> yeah, it's that style. I just loved the dainty little clovers on it. The one um, underside of the one bee's wing does have a little chip on it right here. So it does have a little chip on the underside of the one bee's wing, but it still displays beautifully. Yes. And it is, um, let's start at $12. Let's start at $12. It does have the look of bleak. That's what I initially said when I picked it up. I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like bleak. So it's about seven inches long and about three inches wide. And it does have the little holes for the spoons, but the spoons are not included. So the spoons are not included. So it is very sweet. It's very, very sweet. It's gonna start at $12 if anybody is interested. Super good deal. You can put the sugar in one and the honey in the other one. Yes, it's. it would be great. Um, 
it does have a mark, Camellia. Yes, it does. It has, it says made in occupied Japan on the bottom. And it has a little logo, a little emblem in the middle. It looks kind of like a T. It's a T inside of a circle. So I had no luck figuring out what that was, but um, it looked like Balik. It just has that look to it with those cute little clovers. And um, so it's going to start at $12 if anybody is interested. You got 12 from Camelia. Thank you, Camelia. And I thank you for putting the vids up on the screen because I can't see the Facebook one. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I love that this little handle almost looks like bamboo or something. It's very interesting. Yeah. So, it's very interesting. So it's very cute. So it has that one little chip on the underside of the bee's wing. But other than that, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So. It's really cute. I really like it. So we're at 12 with Camellia. So looking for 13 or more. And it is ceramic. It's gorgeous. It has these dainty little clovers on it. I guess Super you... cool. Yeah. So I'm going to count it down. So looking for 13 or more. So, um, and Camellia, feel free to use your just in case bit. So. It looks like Balik, but it is not Balik. It is marked um, Made in Occupied Japan. And it has a little T, a little emblem. It's a T with uh, inside of a circle. So 15, 14, 13. So bid like you mean it. Camellia is in it. 12. So 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. So looking for 13 or more or a bid end for the sweet little honey pot with the little bees. Camille, it's with a 20 just in case. So. Okay. And we had a $15 bid on YouTube. Mm -hmm. so that would make it yours, Camelia, for 16. Thank Yay. you so much. Congrats. <laughs> That's how you used it just in case bit, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Thank you, Camelia. So it looks like David went to pick up some phone calls, but uh, <laughs> I'm here. You guys see why I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> so very nice. Very nice, Camelia. I am uh, I have this very cute bud vase and i do believe this is phantom but because i, I saw the other ones that are very similar as phantom they have stickers and i think this once upon a time had a sticker and the sticker fell out and this is cased glass as you can see here this nice blue and it's about five inches tall and here's the base and super pretty and i am going to also start this one at is this white uh jenna uh no it's not white it's my light here that's very bright but it's blue it's light blue and in the middle here it's kind of this opaque glass it's like a cased glass but it's uh, blue, it's not white. And I'm also starting this at $1. It is beautiful. I do believe it's a uh, phantom. So $1 guys, five, uh, five inches tall, bud vase, uh, came with those little flowers that I don't know what they are, but I know oh. they're real. <laughs> <laughs> um but if you guys don't know one of the flowers it's okay i don't need to send that i see you jenna uh at seven thank you so much it's super cool um i'm sorry that my lights are blowing money tree oh this is a money tree so you guys thank you carol so you guys probably wanted that 
uh, let's see if I come close here. See, it's blue. It's not white. Okay. Well, looking for eight dollars or more. This is a bud vase. I believe it's phantom, but lost. It's a sticker and it's in perfect condition. No chips, no cracks. Uh, I really like this blue. I think it's nice. I see you, Mary Jo, at eight. And because we are almost in the end, guys, and I would like to leave Morsi with at least one more item. <laughs> Uh, I will try to speed you guys up in this bidding <laughs> uh, because this is an excellent deal. Um, those usually go for between 15 and 20 bucks. Uh, so bid like you mean it, guys. And mm -hmm. I will wait a little bit and start a countdown. Uh, it's super cool. It is a bud vase, but uh, definitely you can put more than one flower here because um, it's a little larger than one bud only mm -hmm. so and if you are doing the rainbow uh bud face oh. collection this is a super nice ad addition to your collection uh case it blue glass and i'm oh. going to start a countdown because i don't see any more beads coming in the highest one i have mary joe at eight looking for nine or more and starting the countdown at 15 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, put your just in case beads, guys. 4, 3, 2, and 1. And if I can get a bead and Jenna just put a just in case at 15. So, so far I have a nine for Jenna. Yeah, bid like you mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yvonne. And I'm looking for 16 or more or a bid end. Yay, Thank nice. you, Bob, for the bid end. So, Jenna, looks like this, but race go to you for nine dollars thank you so much wow. that was a good deal that was a great deal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so back to you marcy okay guys well um i have a couple of things that will be quick claims so i just have two things i'll be quick claims if anybody's yeah. interested you could just claim in the comments um with which item you're interested in. So um, this is just a sweet little bud vase. It's made by Francoma. It is uh, this sweet little swirl and it's very different. It's like that brown and green glaze, which is pretty traditional Francoma. It is marked on the bottom, but it's very hard to see. Um, it has an F and it does say Francoma, but it's really, really light. You'll have to just take my word for it. <laughs> oh, I can see that's it one comma. Kind of see it. Yeah. So it is uh, about six inches tall, and it is going to be a quick claim for eight dollars. So the first person to type in vase or bud vase for eight dollars will get the sweet little Francoma bud vase. Um, very very cute little piece, and then. This is a cute little pixie with a flower on its head. It's a hobbyist piece. So somebody um, painted this, but they did a very, very nice job. Um, he's got a little paint wear on the back uh, of his flower petals on his hat, but it's very, very mild. His face is super sweet. He is going to be a claim of $8 as well. And he, just type in pixie and you can get this cute little pixie. So Bobby cool. put vase. Okay, Bobby, the vase is yours. Thank you so much. The Francoma vase is yours for $8. And I got Jana for the pixie. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. So thank you guys so much. 
We can go a little over than two hours. We don't mind. Okay, I was gonna say I've got two, one or two items left. So if you want to go one or two more okay. items, we can absolutely do that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> nice, Jenna. <laughs> yeah, I see. See, David disappear, but it's okay. David disappear. <laughs> So I'm also going to do two items as a claim here, and they're kind of a nice ones. I have this uh, crackle, a uh, little vase, or how you call this, a uh, pitcher? Pitcher, yep. Yeah, it's orange, and I'm going to do a claim for $7. Ooh. And if you want to, just put pitcher. And I have this nice candle uh, holder. And actually, um, the Lucite candle was on it when I found it. Oh. <laughs> you see kind of a match, the color? Yes, they do kind of match. Yeah. So the candle uh, holder, I'm going to uh, the claim it's for $10. And says they're Gregorian, made in USA. So you can just type candle holder or pitcher. Pitcher for seven, candle holder for 10, and will be yours, first one that types. Yes, yeah. I love that little picture. That is so cute. Yeah, it's. It, I think it's a pilgrim glass because it's crackle and mm -hmm. the colors are very cool. It's almost like an amberina. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not, but it's super cool. Yes. I like the, the, the red one. So I'm going to just watch the comments. If you want the little picture, you're going for seven dollars, you're going to put picture. And if you want the little candle holder, uh it's as I said, yeah, Gregorian made in USA for 10. Just put candle holder, and that will be yours. Yay. That's exciting. Okay, so my next item is a little bit more spendy, but it's very, very cool, at least in my opinion. Um, so it is this set of mixing bowls, and they are McKee. They are marked McKee. They are custard glass. They have, like, this really cool swirl in them it's probably hard to see on this stupid light let me turn down my <laughs> light there you go um you can kind of see there's like different color swirls in them they're very cool so there's a set of three and there are these diff they're very interesting shape as well uh valerie i'm sorry i already sold the candle <laughs> but here you can see like there's these swirls of different color the lighter colors and the darker colors like they're so pretty um and they are marked mckee they are custard glass and they're kind of this tulip shape almost they're really cool um so there's a set of three there is the small the medium size and the larger size. So there's three pieces in this custard glass set. Um, so they're very, very cool, but they're gonna start at 48 for the set, if anybody is interested. That's so our awesome price. Yes, so they are McKee, they are marked. Um, there, there, you probably can't see it, but it is marked in the middle, so. Um, there's only one, there was only one listing, sold listing I found on eBay. It was for the smallest bowl only, and it sold for $16. So 48 is not, I don't think is out of line for, there you go. You can see the McKee. So mm -hmm. it's marked. So it has like, it just has like these different colors. It's almost like a slag glass. It's just gorgeous. Like they're almost art pieces. Like they're just so cool. So it, it doesn't show up 
the greatest. <laughs> I can see some. Yeah. The darkest ones. Yes. It's just so cool. But um, yes. So I didn't see a set um, on eBay. There is not a set for sale. They are McKee custard glass mixing bowls. And they have a set of three. And we're starting them at 48. That's so, nice. There you go. <laughs> So you could see. So they do nest nicely inside of each other. They're this beautiful tulip shape. They're just so pretty. So, but if nobody's interested, we will move on. We will. Right. <laughs> I have one more item that I found today. Actually, this was nesting together with that um, lucite candle. Oh, <laughs> in the same cabinet, and is this beautiful blue phantom mm -hmm. uh, hobnail basket and it's these smaller ones it's about like a 10 inches tall and it's also in perfect condition no chips no cracks uh and now the crusty side here it's perfect it's really perfect this person really took care of their stuff and i'm going to start this one at five dollars it is it is very pretty camellia uh this blue here is just like a gorgeous um i i really like blue and it's in great condition starting at five dollars for this a phantom hobnail blue basket and you've got five dollars from bobby and twelve dollars from jana wow <laughs> nice thank That's you the way to bid, jana. i like your style well david probably has a client on the phone and he's talking with them i'm sorry guys <laughs> uh bobby at 18 thank you so much Yvonne. Uh, I see Yvonne at 20, but then Jenna just sniped in at 21. <laughs> Bobby at 22. Thank you so much. Yvonne at 23. Thank you. Yeah, guys, bid like a minute. This is really, really nice item. Not every day that I come across this color. Mm -mm. The white one, the white hobnail, it's more, much more common. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have some in that house, but this one, it's super pretty. I, I really like it. I see you, Bobby, at 26. Thank you so much. And I don't think shipping is going to be very expensive on this one because it's not the biggest ones, you know. But we ship before the biggest ones. If it's signed, no. No, because I think this is supposed to have a sticker here. Mm -hmm. It didn't have, uh, fall probably with the time. Uh, usually the signed ones, Bobby, are the ones that are painted, hand painted. And this one is just blue hobnail. Super cool. I see Vona 27, but then I see Bobby at 30. Thank you so much. Uh, but it is phantom. Uh, I sold yep. those before, and yep. <laughs> it, it, absolutely, it, it is phantom. You know, when you touch it, you see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yep. know what it is. So I see you, Bobby, at thirty, and I'm going to start the countdown, guys. So put your bids like you mean it. Uh, at fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. Thank you, Yvonne, at 31, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Wow, Jenna, just a sniper, just in case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 6, 5, 4, put your just in case bids, guys. 3, 2, and 1. And bid end. So if I can see 33 or more or a bid end. So far I have Jenna at 32. And I'm waiting for that bid end. Or for one more just in case bid. It's a good score for whoever gets it. It's a gorgeous color. It is. Super cool. Mm -hmm. 
So waiting for that bid end. Looks like we do have a little lag. You are watching, right? Okay. Yeah. I got the bid end. So looks like this goes to Jenna for 32. Congrats, Jenna. Thank you. That's very exciting. It is super cool. It is super cool. Great score, Jana. Um, okay, so my last item is this um, Westmoreland milk glass little covered dish. And it has the, leaf, the leaves and the grapes on it. But the reason that I grabbed this one is because the gold is beautiful. It is perfect, almost untouched. There is gold on every single piece. Oh. There's gold around the rim. I mean, there's gold around the top. The only little bit of wear on the gold is on the top of the ring, of the rim here. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. So, um, this is going to start at 12. It is Westmoreland milk glass, little covered dish. Um, That's very mid-century. It is. It's very cool. It's very like, um, you know, what your grandma would have. <laughs> um, so it's just very cool. I loved that the gold was intact and it's absolutely beautiful. So it is a covered dish. It is two pieces, milk glass uh, made by Westmoreland. And it even has a little stamped leaves on the bottom which is kind of a fun touch. So it's very sweet. So very, very sweet. Super cool. Yeah. I, it's a great vanity dish. It would be a great accent. It's really the gold, like I said, it's just in gorgeous. I was thinking about a vanity. I have a client that she want to sell, you know, those old vanity furniture, mm -hmm. that has a mirror in the middle and you can put yes. the she has one for sale, and I was thinking, oh, this will be so pretty on that. <laughs> yes, it would look great with, and it's a, white is a great color with, like, that light-colored furniture, like the Haywood Wakefield kind of light-colored furniture. Um, Pamela, I see you for 12. Thank you so much. So looking for 13 or more, and it's a fantastic, the gold and the white looks so nice with pink. It's a great accent for turquoise as well. So um, whichever way you really want to take your, your mid-century decor is really cool. So <laughs> was that David who wrote phone call? Yeah, I see him <laughs> coming back now. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's funny. Well, I'm glad that he was able to take the phone call that he needed to take. So that's good. So it's just a very sweet little covered dish, vanity dish. So it's very sweet. Very so. Cool. Yep. So we'll just count it down. So Pamela is in at 12. So looking for 13 or more and we're going to count it down. So if you're interested, now is the time to bid. Baby and Pamela, guys. Yep. If you'd like to put in your just in case bid, you absolutely can do that. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. So looking for 13 or more or a bid end on the sweet little Westmoreland glass piece. So Super cool. It is very cute. I like it. So... I'm not the biggest fan of the milk glass. It's not my absolute most favorite glass, but I love the gold. I so. love I like milk glass. <laughs> I love it too. And I, I bought a few Fenton pieces recently that have really made me look at milk glass differently, but I still per like Viking glass is still my most favorite. So <laughs> but we all have our favorites, and that's that's um that's the good thing about the world, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I so. don't see the bid end yet, but if you want to, I can type sold. Sure. That works great. So, Pamela, this is yours for $12. Thank you so much. Nice. So, I will, so you can contact me on Instagram or via my email. And David's back. 
Uh, David, do you want to do one more item? Yeah, you guys have been having too much fun without me. Oh, am I, am I only doing one more? Uh, how yeah. many more you have, Marcy? I have I have shown all my items. I have three left, so I don't know if you guys do a recap. We could do a recap. If you want to do the other three left, David probably have some to oh, look at. <laughs> um, got a Fenton duck. All right, I'm going to start this Fenton duck out at $1. Whoever's interested, look at that blue. Where is Nicole? Because I know Nicole loves blue stuff. There's a flower <laughs> on the back if um, anyone wants to guess what kind of flower that is. This deck has a signature on the bottom. Oh, it has a signature. Yes, it does. It says, hand-painted by Lisa G. Who is Lisa G? She was having fun back in the day. And it's a blue duck, satin glass blue. And this duck has a face like it is on a mission. <laughs> duck is ready to go on a mission. It's going to quack its way into a new home. <laughs> you can see there's a wing on the duck. And let's see what else, what other features does this duck have? It has kind of a chubby cheek up there. <laughs> a little wing. I think this is a duckling. I think it's a baby duck because look at that wing. That is not an adult duck's wing. Okay. <laughs> this is a baby duck. But I do think it's probably, let me measure this duck for you. We got $8 from Jana Overstreet. So next offer would be $9 or more. And then let's see, this is about three, almost three and a half inches tall. And it's about um, two inches wide. So next offer would be $9 or more on the Satin Glass Fenton Blue Duck. And next offer is $9 or more. Look at that beak. The cute face. Yes, very cute. It look great in a collection of birds or glass animals. <laughs> we got 10 from Yvonne Gravette there. And Theo doesn't like ducks, evidently, but. <laughs> no, Theo does like ducks. He's more of a songbird type guy. Mm, he is, he has not gotten into the satin glass. So. Oh, I see, I see. He doesn't pick that out when he goes. No, he does not. He likes the see-through, like the, the opaque, is it opaque? No, not opaque. He likes the see-through glass. Translucent. Translucent, there we go. Clear. The clear glass. Well, looks like we got 10 from Yvonne. Next mm -hmm. offer would be $11 or more, and I'm going to start a countdown from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, bid like you mean it, 4, 3, 2, 1. If we can get $11 or more or a bid end on this one, that would be wonderful. Yeah, let's see who gets it. There's been a few snipers, so people yeah. waiting, waiting for that last second. <laughs> Just in case, from Debbie. Oh wow! So it's up to eleven. No. Yeah. Yep. It's at eleven. Eleven from Debbie. All right, Debbie Wilmar. It looks like she's getting it for eleven. Thank you, everyone, for your bids, though. Yay! Oh, back to you. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick recap because I have cats to feed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so uh, let's just, I'm just going to give you a claim price. So if you want it, you can just uh, claim it in the chat. So the diabetic cat needs to be fed. So <laughs> um, this is a cute little blue bubble jar. Um Let's do claim price of $10. It is marked made in Belgium. You can just type in blue jar, bubble jar, something like that. It has a plastic seal and it is very sweet. So it is uh, $10 for the little bubble jar if you're interested in that. Um, the little treasure craft shakers with the little pixies, there is two little flecks of paint loss on the pepper one is on his little nose and the other one is over here on the edge 
So these are these cute little treasure craft shakers. They are marked treasure craft 1960 on the back. There we go. Find it. There we go. <laughs> and they do have their stoppers. Um, and these are going to be $12 as a claim. If somebody would like to claim them for $12, you can claim them treasure craft shakers, whatever, whatever suits you. And then the last item is this blue translucent glass fish or dolphin, whatever you want it to be. Um, okay, Kathy, are you claiming the shakers? I think you're claiming the shakers. Okay, Kathy, I've got you down for the treasure craft shakers. Those are yours. Or are you trying to bid on the fish? Okay, confirm, Kathy. Um, the little fish is um, blue glass. It's very sweet. It's a fish or a dolphin, whatever you want. And we are going to do a claim price for him for 15 if anybody's interested, you can claim the fish or dolphin for 15. So we do have quite the lag tonight, I think. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Shakers for 12. I got you, Kathy. So the fish or the dolphin is 15. If anybody is interested, it's very sweet. I think I said it was four inches long and about three and a half inches tall. So it's very sweet. Lots of detail in the glass and it's the slightly blue color. Yeah, the lag is crazy, Yvonne. So the worst part about it is that you never know how bad it is. <laughs> it's so unpredictable. So yeah, but if nobody else is interested, that is just fine. So. Oh, um, okay. Uh, Allie, I'm gonna show some things for okay. my little recap. Right. This, is, this is a new item. Uh, this is like a red hat, and uh, this would be a claim for um, $13. Uh, it's almost like Amberina, but if anybody wants this, just claim this for 13 So just type in 13 if you want it. It's a red hat vase, okay? But just for the recap, I wanted to show um, some items that are on my Instagram feed for sale right now. Uh, this I have this beautiful cranberry glass pitcher. And I just wanted to make sure you guys know that this is kind of a large pitcher, okay? Estimated value, I would put it like 130 bucks. Um, wow. to 130 to like 200, probably 130 to 200 would be like MSRP, what you're gonna see it's out <laughs> there. But this is only bid up to $20 right now. It's on my Instagram feed. So to bid on this item, just go to the um, photo of it on my Instagram and you make a comment in my, underneath the photo. So cranberry glass, I believe it's Fenton, a nice pitcher for lemonade or whatever you want to drink, uh, sangria, something <laughs> to cool down on a hot day. This is a really beautiful one. I picked it up from an antique dealer in town here. So um, that's one item on my Instagram feed. Another one that's currently up. Now all these items end Saturday at noon. So um, I have this egg planter and you can see the pictures of that on there. One second, let me show you um, another item. I have this Amberina, Amberina Fairy Lamp. Um, this one I think is bid up to about $40 right now. Fenton Amberina Fairy Lamp. Uh, you can see Fenton sticker on the inside. Um, and then uh, I did want to show you, I do also have this. Uh, this is like a Bohemian uh vase it's glass or i'm not sure if it's glass or crystal but i think it's glass because it's pink and has these stripes very nice flowers but you can see how the top was cut and how it's thick and a nice glass piece here nice glass base this is also on my instagram feed wow. wholesale ending saturday at noon and then um oh a couple more items on my feed that i wanted to show you guys this is um, a Vaseline glass vase. You see how it's the color of Vaseline? Um, well, it's yellow like Vaseline and it's a Vaseline glass vase with the striping. Let me see if my black light, how that works. Uh, you know, it doesn't light it up very pronounced in the light here, but in, if, on my Instagram feed, you can see how well um, it's lit up in the dark. But just a very neat vase with that striping uh, really good condition. There's what the bottom looks like. 
and then um, I do have this. It's like a little uh, miniature cup that I really liked. It's art, <laughs> art glass. And if you want to have a little drink of some tea or a cordial, probably I think this would classify as a cordial. An right. espresso. A shot of espresso. Maybe espresso, yes. But this one's uh -huh. also on my Instagram feed. But I think this one's about $11 right now or something. And then the last item, just to recap, just the items on my Instagram feed is this Bluebird of Happiness with the blue crystal ball. And Theo is in the lead right now. So uh, just so you guys know. <laughs> but that's, you know, what's been going on. I've been trying to um, start some items at $1 on my Instagram feed and just let them go and let the universe decide who's going to get it and for how much. So, you know, I just get a little stress, stressed out about pricing and all this. So that's why I just would rather start, be able to start things at a dollar and just have faith that it's going to go. And um, hopefully I'll make a little bit of money. <laughs> <laughs> that is the goal, right? That is the goal. <laughs> it's a little risky, but hey. Yeah. Well, if anybody saw anything in this video that did not so, I am putting it down in the description as soon as we end this live, our email and also Borsi email. So you guys can contact us and feel free to message. And if you want to buy something that was not sold, just yes. let us know. And um, I did make a little promotion that if you share one of my um, photos of one of my items that are on sale in my feed if you share it to your story i'll give you a dollar off on a purchase that you make so um anyways just so you know hey ali are we having a sale next wednesday uh well we were might. scheduled with for one uh, somebody wanted to go live with us oh i have to check my messages okay uh <laughs> well we can do a live sale next wednesday and one on tuesday as we do on instagram as well Jody Renshaw, she wanted to go live. She has a pretty decent YouTube channel too, 3,400 or something followers. And she said she wanted to go live next week, next Wednesday. So we are scheduled for that. That's awesome. Sounds like fun. Well, we better let you get to your cat. But thank you so much for joining thank us you. tonight. Thank you guys so much. And I really like having friends on here. So Yes. Thank you guys so much. It was a blast. And um Come check out our sale on Friday with on Instagram, Allison from Skeleton Keys in the Closet, and I will be on Instagram Live. Um, I believe it starts at 8 p.m. Central Time. So, yes. So that will be this Friday. And, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Marcy, uh, Instagram. I don't think you have a YouTube channel nope. yet. I do have YouTube. I don't have very much on there, but I did just upload a really interesting video of this place that we go every year. And it is, you'll see the video. It's like wall to wall stuff. It is absolutely crazy. So, so you guys should like and subscribe our channel as well and like subscribe our channel. Yes. <laughs> thank you guys so much. And thank you guys for your bits. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, bye.